Hi friends, how are you? In this video, we are going to learn view and counter view. How to write the counter view in the exam that all details we are going to learn in this video. So first thing we have to keep in mind view. It means the statement given. Okay. And the uh, statement uh, which given in the view section are always positive statements and while writing a counter view at that time we always have to go against the car the view section in the view section you will find some points are given there and with that with the help of that points, we have to go against the view section and write a paragraph. And that paragraph must be against of view section. So we call it the counter view. So uh, many examples are given there in the video. You will find that. So I request you to subscribe the channel. Let's start view and counter view. This question comes uh, in exam for five marks in a writing skill. So that's why we have to study it very carefully because this is the most important question. View and counter view. So first thing we have to know what is view. So view. It is a statement about any topic. It is called debate for motion. Here all the supportive good points of the view statement are given. View kaise kehte hai? View matlab aise kuch statement hote hai. Kisi bhi topic se related. Jo ki debate mein use hote hai. View kaha jata hai. Matlab view mein jo bhi points aate hai. जो भी स्टेटमेंट आते हैं वो पूरे पॉजिटिव स्टेटमेंट्स होते हैं देन नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज काउंटर व्यू काउंटर व्यू इट इज द अगेंस्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द व्यू टॉपिक इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड डिबेट अगेंस्ट मोशन इन काउंटर व्यू ऑल द अपोजिट पॉइंट्स ऑफ द व्यू टॉपिक आर गिवन तो काउंटर व्यू किसे कहते हैं काउंटर व्यू जो होता है वो व्यू में जो भी पॉइंट्स दिए हैं उसके अगेंस्ट स्टेटमेंट जो होते हैं उसे काउंटर व्यू कहा जाता है ये क्या है ये भी एक डिबेट का पार्ट है जो भी व्यू में कहा है उसके पूरा अगेंस्ट जाके अपने पर्सनल ओपिनियन रखना उसे काउंटर व्यू कहा जाता है और जो काउंटर व्यू में जो भी पॉइंट्स आते हैं वो हमेशा व्यू पॉइंट में जो भी है उसके अगेंस्ट होना जरूरी है उसके अपोजिट होना जरूरी है इस तरह से व्यू और काउंटर व्यू होता है और हमें एग्जाम में हमेशा क्या करना पड़ता है काउंटर व्यू लिखना पड़ता है एक बॉक्स आएगा बॉक्स में व्यू के साथ कुछ पॉइंट्स आएंगे तो उस पॉइंट के अगेंस्ट हमें एक पैराग्राफ लिखना पड़ता है पॉइंट्स नहीं लिखने हमें क्या करना पड़ता है काउंटर व्यू में पैराग्राफ लिखना पड़ता है दो या तीन पैराग्राफ का एक आंसर लिखना पड़ता है एज अ काउंटर व्यू नेक्स्ट देखिए rule in the counter view write a paragraph that goes against the points given in the view section jiske bare mein humne discuss kiya tha ye wahi cheez hai counter view ka jab aap paragraph likhenge to aapko jo view section mein jo points diye hai uske against jaake aapko apne points rakhne padte hai aur ek bahut bada sa paragraph likhna padta hai ek paragraph do ya teen paragraph tak aap usme लिख सकते हैं एंड नोटिस वन नोटिस इज देयर फॉर यू डू नॉट राइट पॉइंट्स इन द काउंटर व्यू ओके वी शुड नॉट वी शुड नॉट राइट द काउंटर व्यू इन द पॉइंट फॉर्मेट वी हैव टू राइट इन अ पैराग्राफ व्हाइल राइटिंग काउंटर व्यू वी शुड राइट इन द 
paragraph format this one thing we have to keep in mind okay note that which uh, points we have to note while writing counter view first one is include all relevant points second put points forcefully third one is provide data and statistic to prove points fourth use easy language and correct statements number fifth do not offend any person number six do not put forward any political racial or such a statement so jab aap counter view likhte hai counter view ko paragraph likhte hai to us waqt hame ye six point hamare dimag mein rakhne chahiye ki jo bhi hum likh rahe pure hamare relevant point hona zaruri hai जो भी हम पॉइंट्स उसमें रखेंगे जो भी बात उसमें लिखेंगे वो हमें फोर्सफुली अपना ओपिनियन वहां पे सामने वाले को प्रूव करके दिखाना है थर्ड में अगर आपके पास कोई स्ट्रेटेजिक डेटा है तो पूरा डेटा उसमें आना जरूरी है जब भी रिपोर्ट जब भी ये काउंटर व्यू लिखेंगे आप काउंटर व्यू का पैराग्राफ लिखेंगे तो उसमें ईजी और करेक्ट लैंग्वेज लिखना जरूरी है सिंपल सेंटेंसेस रखना जरूरी है दूसरी बात वहां पे लिखते हुए काउंटर व्यू लिखते वक्त आप किसी भी आदमी पे क्रिटिसाइज नहीं करोगे दूसरी बात आ, कोई पॉलिटिक कोई पॉलिटिकल के अगेंस्ट नहीं लिखोगे या रेसिज्म के बारे में नहीं लिखोगे इस तरह के मतलब पूरे सोशल रोल या दिमाग में रखे आपको काउंटर व्यू के पैराग्राफ लिखने पड़ते हैं नेक्स्ट देखो नाउ Uh, one question is given for you uh, to study better to understand better how to write the counter view of any topic question number first prepare a paragraph to be used for the counter view section on the following topic you can take the help of following points include in the view section view section science is blessing to human beings science has helped man to make progress in many areas science has given man many facilities science increases the efficiency and speed of man science made man powerful in this universe science increases life span of man ye pura question hai yahan tak ka ye box a uh, view section ka box और उसके आगे प्रिपेयर पैराग्राफ ये पूरा क्वेश्चन में इतना सारा आता है और जो व्यू सेक्शन में आप कुछ पांच छह पॉइंट्स देख रहे हो इस पॉइंट पॉइंट्स के अगेंस्ट जाके इस पॉइंट के अपोजिट जाके आपको पैराग्राफ लिखना पड़ता है उसे हम काउंटर व्यू कहेंगे ठीक है तो नोटिस भी एक आपके लिए दिया है वहां पे वाइल्ड राइटिंग काउंटर व्यू गो अगेंस्ट द पॉइंट विच आर गिवन इन द व्यू बॉक्स जब आप काउंटर व्यू लिखोगे काउंटर व्यू लिखते वक्त आपको व्यू पॉइंट में जो भी पॉइंट्स दिए हैं उस पॉइंट्स के अगेंस्ट जाके पैराग्राफ लिखना है राइट right? पैराग्राफ अगेंस्ट द व्यू सेक्शन मतलब व्यू सेक्शन में जो पॉइंट दे उसके अगेंस्ट जाके उसके अपोजिट जाके आपको काउंटर व्यू का पैराग्राफ लिखना है गिव अप्रोप्रिएट टाइटल टू द टू काउंटर व्यू और जब काउंटर व्यू लिखेंगे तो उसको उसके लिए हमें एक अप्रोप्रिएट टाइटल और हेडलाइन देना जरूरी है उसके लिए भी कुछ मार्क्स होते हैं ठीक है नेक्स्ट हेयर इज द आंसर ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑन प्रीवियस स्लाइड आंसर काउंटर व्यू साइंस इज अ कॉज टू ह्यूमन बीइंग नाउ दिस इज द टोटली against statement which was given in the view section okay and now we have made it as headline of our answer okay now let's start which points we have mentioned there and all points all all data that we have mentioned here that must be against the view section okay let's start science is called as blessing to human being but it is not real in fact science made man's life so terrible that is that it should be called a curse to human beings okay in this paragraph you will find that what was in the view section we we have 
went against the view section okay and after that we have put our opinion against the view so that's why we call it the counter view section no counter view section always goes against view section next paragraph is there though science helped man in his progress it also led man's life in threat the weapons like nuclear bomb pistols rifles guns and other armaments became hazard to human life the facilities which science provides to man many times makes man idle and lazy science increases the speed of work but also insulted in loss of enjoyment and jobless workers the balance of nature is overthrown by man with the help of science and in the in the second paragraph we also mention what are the defeats of science okay so that's why this is a counter view okay we put all points that goes against the view section and the last and concluding paragraph is there there is increase in various kinds of uh, pollution and environmental problems due to science man lose his peace of mind and becoming a machine the development in medicine also led to destruction of female babies before birth some medicines also have serious side effects seeing all these points it can be said that science is a curse to human being in this way uh, we have made a counter view of view section okay that goes against the view points in this way you have to write your answer in the exam while writing counter view once again i repeat the same thing which points are given in the view section while writing counter view we have to go against the view section and write a paragraph and we have to put all our opinions against the view section and that's why we call it the counter view next second question uh, is given for you for the practice question number second prepare a paragraph for a counter view section on the topic sports should be optional in school and colleges you can check help of the following points in the view section view section heavy burden of studies no time for, for sports more importance to academic success lack of proper infrastructure okay this is a question this are uh, such type of all points will come in your exam and now in answer we have to write our own opinion in the counter view uh, which always goes against the view section okay while writing counter view just keep in mind which points are given in the view section and after that we have to go against that points and we have to make a paragraph for our answer as a counter view section let's start the answer of this question so you can see here answer is given there okay and the title also goes against the view section okay and the answer counter view sports should be compulsory in school and colleges this is the against statement which was given in the view section okay in this way we have to make a title also while writing counter view let's start the remaining thing i do not agree with the above mentioned statement that sports should be optional in uh, colleges or school whether it is a school or a college student have a lot to gain from sport it removes stress from hard studies it also takes the student very active and fit okay in the first paragraph we have mentioned some 
uh, points or a, our opinion about why the sport should be compulsory in the school we have mentioned the benefits and the necessity of the sport okay and that all points are against the view section second paragraph sport help in uh, inculcating many important qualities like teamwork determination self confidence leadership reasoning endurance etc more emphasize on studies suffices the need for sport in a student life institution should allot some time for sport for the benefit of the student once again we have mentioned our opinion why the sport is compulsory in the school or colleges we have mentioned some points there our opinion there like which quality the student will gain because of the sport that all things we have mentioned there like teamwork determination confidence leadership etc this quality student can gain in their life student can get there in their life okay these qualities are most important okay and student will learn so many things from the sport and that thing we have put there and the third paragraph is there young students are full of energy and it is vital to give way to their energy in the right direction also providing a platform to raw talent would lead to the discovery of great sport persons who may bring honor to the nation in the near future there should be proper time set uh, scheduled for the sport activities though academic success is important healthy body and active personality is also essential government is supporting sport by giving extra marks for achieving great success in the competitions sports provide an overall learning experience for any individual hence it should be made compulsory in school and colleges okay in this way we can see how we have made uh, an answer for a counter view you should write like this in your exam okay i th i think you understood this all points once again i would like to say you while writing counter view we have to go against the points which are given in the view section and we must write the counter view in the paragraph format so thank you student for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe and press the bell icon then you will get the notification of new videos related to your syllabus once again thank you thank you so much